Hey guys, another video for our how to do stuff in Japan playlist and our mini series on raising kids in Japan. As mentioned on previous videos, joining or leaving groups in Japan is normally associated with some fairly serious ceremony and no exception to that as far as kindergarten and elementary school, junior high school and high school are concerned, university and college. Just a quick note, the guy's wearing a suit and slippers, as is everybody else in the room, because of course we're inside, which means we can't be wearing our shoes, so of course we have to wear slippers. So this is actually an, a kindergarten graduation ceremony. So these kids are finishing kindergarten with their diploma in fingerprinting and dodgeball, and they're going to be starting elementary school. So as with most ceremonies in Japan, really, really formal really really solemn there's a real solemn air to these things and i mean this is a graduation ceremony for kindergarten which you'd think would be reasonably light-hearted but no the ceremony part of it is really really formal and really really solemn you'll see the mothers there in the front row and the fathers behind them everybody gets briefed you'll find if you get involved in things like this in japan it's everybody's involved everybody in the room is involved you can't just sort of go along and watch it like a spectator you end up being involved because they say all the mothers have to do this and all the fathers have to do this and all the teachers have to do this and all the kids have to do this and everybody's programmed to do whatever behaviors are expected of them and really really formal really really formal formal speeches lots of bowing Anybody who mentions anybody else has to bow to them and they bow back. And it's, it's fairly typical. Any ceremony in Japan is like this. Just as a side note, this guy over here is filming the event and he's going to be putting it on DVD and giving it to all the parents. And the parents are all paying in excess of $50 each for their copy of the DVD of the event, which means that guy's doing pretty well. This is a two hour cer ceremony. He'll go and throw it on a. 10 cent dvd and get 50 dollars a head from 15 parents so we mentioned that on a previous video most of the parents quietly acknowledged that they didn't want to spend that sort of money for a dvd because everybody in the room was filming it themselves but because everyone was doing it everyone was doing it and it's one of those situations where you can't not do it you could not do it if you wanted to as with a lot of things in japan there's no rule saying you must but because everybody's doing it everybody's doing it and if you didn't do it it'd make you seem like you weren't part of the group and they told us if anybody who didn't do it they'd have to share the cost between less people so everybody have to pay a bit more so obviously it's not really an option so as you can see really really formal really really serious couple of hours it's quite you'll find if you get involved in things like this in japan it's quite it is quite a thing it is quite a formal event that requires discipline and sit quietly and be patient and do what you're expected to to do kids too as you can see lots of bowing <laughs> The bowing never ends. Everybody's bowing to everybody. So they do an entrance ceremony that's similar to this when the kids join kindergarten. Then they do this graduation ceremony when they graduate from kindergarten. Then two weeks after this, we'll have an entrance ceremony to enter elementary school, and it'll be like this. Same thing. Go for a couple of hours, all very formal, lots of speeches and everybody's has a, a role to play all the parents have a role to play and all the dignitaries and the teachers and the kids and then they'll graduate from elementary school and there'll be a big ceremony and then they enter junior high school as a ceremony they they graduate from junior high school as a ceremony enter high school as a ceremony graduate from high school as a ceremony enter university as a ceremony <laughs> so every time that the kids enter a group or leave a group there's the ceremony and the fathers are all expected to wear their black suits. You're allowed to wear a colored tie because of this sort of event. You're allowed to wear a colored tie. As you guys know, funerals, it's a black tie. Wedding, it's a silver tie or a white tie. These events, you're allowed to wear a different colored tie. But you'll see everyone's almost wearing the same. 
The ladies too, there's a sort of a lady style suit that almost everybody wears. A little bit of variation to the colour of the coats, but pretty much the same. And everybody wears pretty much the same. Everyone's wearing their uniform, basically. Parents, dignitaries, teachers and kids, everybody's got a uniform to wear in in their own way. So, yeah, yeah, this never ends in Japan, this sort of thing. Lots of it. <laughs> anyway, there it was, all fun. More videos coming soon.